Hello everyone, it's Preacher Man Sword. Welcome back to another video. I'm here to do my um, week um, 17 picks. Uh, I've been busy. I've been watching games, you know. I'm supposed to do this earlier, but it is what it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. First, we got the Denver Broncos going against the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm picking Kansas City. Denver is going to lose 15 straight. Hack is fired, thank God, but it doesn't matter. Say so I say it deep in the defense. Defense had enough. They crumbled last game, giving up 51 points. Defense is still good, but no. The defense is still good, but it's not going to – they got tired of the offense always um, running them out. So, you know. Uh, <clears throat> cheese, I say the cheese win 30 to um, 16. Yep, 16 again. I'm going to do this every week. <laughs> Next up, we got the Jags against the Texans. Okay. I'm a I'm gonna go with my friend on this one until I see it happen. I'm picking the Texans, and this is why a certain Jags fan told me the Texans own the Jags, and I looked it up, and it's true. The Texans have won eight straight. Last time the Jags beat the Texans was when the Jags were on that playoff run with Blake Bortles and their defense. So I'm just going with the Texans. I say it's gonna be a mid-scoring game by a score of twenty to seventeen. Next up, we got the Miami Dolphins playing the New England Patriots. I don't think it matters if – I don't think this matters. Patriots suck, man. I got the Dolphins. I know Bridgewater's playing. I know he's garbage, but I'd say they win by a score of hmm, 23 to 20. <clears throat> Next up, we got the Pittsburgh Steelers against the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, I know it's in Baltimore, but Baltimore hasn't been looking that good. They haven't been looking that good. The Steelers, on the other hand, they're 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 on a roll. But um, I I just don't know. I just don't know how this is gonna work because Lamar is not playing. I don't think. But I'm gonna go with Baltimore. Just, anyway, I, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Steelers won. I say Baltimore wins by a score of 24 to 21. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Next up, we got the Buffalo Bills against Cincinnati Bengals. Shit. I'm sorry, but I, I it's a tough game. The Bengals, they're at home. They're on a roll. The Bills... You know, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually go with the Bengals on this, and, and here's why. The only reason is because it's in Cincinnati. I wouldn't be surprised the Bills win. This is probably the game of the year when you think about it. <clears throat> this is a crazy game. It's gonna be Burrow versus Allen, and the Bengals. If they win, then they make a chance for the um, number one seed. But I, 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 I just got the Bengals winning this. I think the Bengals got this. I say Bengals win by a score of 34 to 28 in a good scoring game. It's a Monday night game. Next up, we got the Cowboys against the Tennessee Titans. I got the Cowboys. Titans stink. They don't have Derrick Henry isn't playing. He's their only person on the team. And Henry, he's having a bounce back season because last year he got hurt. I think he has like over a thousand four hundred some yards, and the Cowboys they they just beat it they just beat it the Eagles so you know I got the Cowboys winning by a score thirty one to seventeen. Malik Willis is going to be playing by the way. Next up we got the Cleveland Browns against the Washington Commanders. This is tough honestly. I think Washington should win this. Carson Wentz is starting, so that's terrible. Heineke they bench Heineke. This isn't smart. But I'm going to go with Washington, and the only reason why is because I, I just don't trust Deshaun Watson. The Texans robbed them on that trade. That that trade was worse than Denver's. Three first-round picks and a $230 million fully guaranteed contract. No. And he's in a better situation than Denver? No. So I wouldn't be surprised if Cleveland won, though. I got Washington winning this by a score of... 23 to 
to say 17. Next up, we got the Indianapolis Colts facing the New York Giants. I got the New York Giants. Nick Foles is going to be starting. Nick Foles is terrible. Probably the worst quarterback right now. I got the Colts. I just don't think the Colts are going to win this. They're terrible. They're terrible. They're tanking for a pick. Giants should win this, but knowing the Giants, they will probably finally give them a, you know, the Giants, they'll still get a one-score game. I got the Giants winning by a score of 27 to 20. Next up, we got the San Francisco 49ers against the Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, the Raiders just benched Derek Carr for Jared Stidham. So that's the sign that Derek Carr is most likely going to be leaving the Raiders. I think he's either going to go to the Jets or, you know, the Colts, you know, because the Colts love getting getting these quarterbacks instead of fucking drafting one. But I got the Niners in this, obviously. Niners defense is going to kill the Raiders. I got the Niners winning this by a score of 28 to 17. Um... <clears throat> I think. Um, next up, we got the New York Jets against the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, this is tough. New York, the Jets are in a mid situation. Mike White is back, but it's in Seattle. I got Seattle, but I wouldn't be shocked if the Jets win because, by the way, Geno Smith isn't good. He's starting to show his true colors. I got Seattle winning this. I wouldn't be shocked if um the Jets. Well, I got Seattle winning this by a score. 20, I say 26 to 23. Next up, we got the LA Rams against the LA Chargers. So it's both, it's in LA. So battle of most fans, which is probably going to be the Rams. Because the Chargers, they have no fans. All 20 of them is going to show up though. But I got the Chargers. They clinched the playoffs about time. But I, 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 I say the Chargers should win this. I got the Chargers winning this by a score of 27-24. Next up, we got the Carolina Panthers against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. To be honest, I'm not sold on Tampa. They shouldn't have won that game. That's not an impressive win against Arizona. And the Panthers just came off beating Detroit. I'm actually going to go with the upset. I'm I, This is my upset. I, I got the Panthers winning this. I don't trust Tampa at all. They ha, they aren't impressive. They're not impressive at all. They really aren't. And I think they're going to sweep Tampa. I say Carolina win this by a score of 27-2. to Oh, let me go. 28-21. There. Next up, we got the Arizona Cardinals against the Atlanta Falcons. Oh man, okay, this is this is the this is a toilet bowl. I honestly don't know who's gonna win this. I, I'm not even joking. But you know what? I, I can't do it after what I saw last week. I'm gonna go with Atlanta. Arizona, I can't I can't pick them. I can't pick them after what they did last week and then weeks prior. Atlanta, I know they stink, but they're probably they're better than the. Uh, Falcons. I say they win this by a score of 17 to 14. Uh, next up, we got the Chicago Bears playing the Detroit Lions. It's in Detroit. I got Detroit winning this. Bears, there's tanking. They've been do- playing. Offense has been playing all right. Defense has been selling. Detroit, they came off that bad loss to Carolina. So they need to. Keep their playoff picture alive with this win. Say they win this by a score of 30 to, um, I'd say 30 to 20. Their defense will give them a heart attack in the end. Uh, next up, we got the New Orleans Saints facing the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, I don't know if Jalen Hurst is playing, but Gardner Minshew is playing. So it's in Philly. So I got the Eagles winning this, and they'll clinch the NFC with this win. They'll clinch the NFC along with the NFC East, and they'll get the division. Say they win this by a score of 35 to 35 to 20, 35 to 24. Um, 
Next up, we got the Minnesota Vikings against the Green Bay Packers. It's in Green Bay. I wouldn't be surprised if Green Bay win, but I, 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 I got Minnesota, but I wouldn't be surprised if Green Bay wins because knowing how Minnesota is, they're not that good. They're probably the worst 12-3 and three team I've ever seen. Their point differential is like minus one. And 11 of their wins have been one score. So if they flip that, then they're the worst team in the league. But Minnesota should win this. I say they win this by a score of 27 to 17. So, yeah, those are my picks, guys. Make sure you hit the like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your picks down below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. And I'll see you guys soon.